Hola chicos, welcome Caribou, bienvenidos. My name is Valentine. Hi guys, this is Yuman David again. Welcome back to our channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome home. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We appreciate your support. In today's video, we're going to talk about the first time Valentine came to Spain, but not just about uh, what she encountered here, mm -hmm. but how was the trip itself, the journey itself, because it was truly truly unbelievable okay guys so for this story we have to go all the way back to 2021 january uh we had been living in kenya for a couple of months mm -hmm. right and we decided this time to already move to spain finally it was gonna be the first time valentine was in spain there is no direct flight between nairobi and madrid so we decided to take a flight with a transfer in egypt mm -hmm. right in cairo and it was also during the winter time yeah and in that that moment it was very very cold in spain and there was snow i was told it was like that never happens like no and uh that time it was like a super big storm for several days if they hadn't changed our flight would be okay but since they delayed our flight yeah we were supposed to fly just the time that okay we're gonna put the images yeah, yeah. around here okay. like it was completely uh, incredible the airport was completely in the snow all the street like the, the roads had the ice in the the road the gas could not go yeah. everything was a stop like in spain we never see like that ever we took the flight from nairobi to cairo and then we arrived uh, in cairo mm -hmm. and that was okay that was normal flight but then when we arrived to cairo we go to the the area that we have to take a flight to madrid and it says delayed 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 one hour delay, hours, two hours, hours delay. Hours, hours, yeah, and finally cancelled. So as you can imagine, all the people in that flight uh, was uh, creating drama. Yeah. They don't know what to do. They're talking to everybody, the information post, they see it, the security people, I don't know. They're talking to everybody. And to it was see. very messy because we had some people who are, who are coming like from, uh, from wherever they were coming from to Cairo and then have another transit in Madrid. And then from Madrid, maybe others to the US, others to Mexico, others to... Yes, and the, and the thing is, that's not a storm that goes in a couple of hours. That was going to last for several it days was huge. at least mm -hmm. it was so huge so a lot of people was gonna lose their flights uh, some people they had no money to pay the hotel in cairo or whatever to mm -hmm. stay more days yeah unbelievable so at the end we they had us all waiting for several hours just in the in, in the, the lobby, airport yeah, no? in, in the, the lobby yeah. yeah we were just waiting in the floor waiting and uh, everybody getting down, everybody shouting, yeah. putting complaints. People cry. Uh, and there is uh, this guy from the airline that had like the suit and everything. Mm -hmm. He approached us and uh, seven or eight more people. Yeah. And they told us, come with me. Because apparently, if your original port of uh, departure is not uh, Cairo, that is where the travel happened, no? Yeah. They have to, the airline has to take care of you until they have a, another alternative route yeah, to, take to take you to you. destination, to Madrid. Mm -hmm. so they took our passports also. Yeah, they took the passports. And they had us put in a whole day, but at the end they took us to a hotel in Cairo and told us, we're gonna keep you here, we're gonna give you food, we're gonna take care of you until we have another way to take you to Madrid. And that was initially, they said it's only one day <laughs> when you were told to go to the hotel. Originally it was one day, yeah. but we knew it was not gonna be one day. The others had never been. Yeah, knew. more or less, we, we were like, this will not be one day because if it's yeah. one day, they will just let you stay in the in the airport in the and maybe airport. let you go to the lounge, you yeah. know, stay in the lounge. So we went to the hotel. It was actually nice hotel. The hotel was nice. I loved it. It was uh, just near the airport. We didn't like have really a big problem because we wanted to go to Cairo anyway to see the pyramids. Yeah, at the that end that was we, our plan. At the exactly. End, at the, the end, we we knew we were gonna stay for a couple of days. They are paying us for the accommodation, they are paying us for the Yeah, everything for the food. was catered for. Everything was free. The only thing is we don't have the passport. No? Yeah. So supposedly we cannot leave the hotel, supposedly. Yeah, because of course you will, if you're in a different country, you'll be scared like to walk without the yeah, passport. Like they, they ask you something, you don't yeah. have a passport with you, you don't have visa. Yeah. It can be messed up, no? Yeah, so we just, uh, we went, so we, we actually just... You know, we can't escape. We, we can't just escape. escaped. Yeah. We didn't say anything. We just escaped and we went to the pyramid. Thank God, during the whole journey, no one asked us for the for the passport. For the passport. It, and yeah, so finally we could go to the pyramids. It was actually very cool. Like the, I think that the only reason we wanted to go to Cairo was to see the pyramids. Yeah. Yeah. After the pyramids, we we had fun. We were happy, and then we went back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And when we went back to the hotel from the pyramids. 
the other people are so depressed seated in the lobby like you know people are stressed because someone has a flight and it's not the same airline so if it's a different airline if you're really late you've missed the next the next flight yeah. at the end we actually stayed in uh egypt for like uh I think for days. Four days. Yeah, something okay. like four days. So after four days, they told us uh, we were going to travel on that day. Like they've already found an alternative to go. So we went to the airport. Okay. We get to the airport and then another drama begins. So they take the passport one by one. Mm -hmm. They tell you, they start saying, if you are not um, originally from Spain. Oh yeah. And that's your destination. Yeah. They're not gonna allow you to go, like if you're not, you don't have Spanish residency or if you're not Spanish, and your destination is in Spain, you have to go back to your country. She had the visa. She had the visa in place. Yeah, I had the but visa. But they wanted already. to send me to Spain and her to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Can but you imagine? We we create a drama there. We were we were like, I want to see the <laughs> We were complaining. I don't know. Like I was not gonna leave without you. Like for real. Can you imagine so how crazy? People. I started getting so nervous. My hands became so cold. My legs. So cold, my stomach was full of water, butterflies. I'm just like, okay, now this is it. This is it. You know, I was so frustrated, and I'm just like, okay, I didn't even talk. I was just like, I'm not. I'm gonna let David fix this because I, I have no energy to talk. I cannot do anything. Yeah, man. For me, I was just like, like. Uh talking to the guy a lot, like, I want to see your manager, the manager tell me the same thing, then I want to see the manager of the manager. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, we're just fighting yeah. a lot. Also, the other people were pissed off, but for different reasons. Yeah. But the whole of us, we created, like, complaining a lot. Like, a, imagine after all that show. drama of the journey to get there, and then they are telling us that I have to go back to Kenya, and David has to go to Spain. It was chaotic. Yeah. But anyway, at the end, they we decided, yeah, at the end, they <laughs> said, it's fine. I had, yes, my visa was a, a Schengen visa, like, I can go anywhere. But now the problem is I have my first destination has to be Madrid because that's where my first yeah, my, Spain. my visa any, was. Any, yeah. in Spain, but any place in Spain, but I country. have to be Spain. It can, I cannot start going to France or whatever. Like for them, they just wanted to get rid of us. Like yeah. we, don't, we don't want to pay you hotel and food and everything anymore. So we're just going to send you anywhere. And uh, they really messed with us because they put a flight to Madrid from uh, Istanbul. We know that flight cannot arrive in Madrid because the airport is still full of snow, but still there is tickets for that flight, the, our airline in Egypt can tell us, okay, you're going to take this flight, and if that flight gets cancelled, as it was later on, mm -hmm. it's not our problem anymore. So yeah, we just had to go to Istanbul, and the issue in Istanbul, of course, they cancelled the flight. Uh, of course, there is no alternative to go to Madrid, but the problem now was like our COVID passport, COVID uh, or PCR, has already expired, of was course. expired because it's for three days. We stayed in Cairo for four days. Mm -hmm. So if we want to leave the airport, they want to put us a hotel and everything, but if we want to leave the airport, we have to pay 200 euros each and also for a have new to visa. Get a, yeah. And I also have to get a visa. So. And also she has to get a visa. That was another 50 euros to get in Turkey. So we were like, you know what? Let's just take it. <laughs> and we started sleeping in the airport. Can you know? Oh my God, you, you don't know how... We had to take turns sleeping on the floor. We were so depressed. We were like, man, we were just so fine in the hotel in Egypt. Yeah. And now, uh... So, hey, we were so tired of sleeping on the floor. We had to take an executive lounge. Like, we were yeah. taking turns to sleep. I was sleeping like for one hour, and I'm like, David is like, baby, come on, you have to wake up. I need to sleep now. Because we were scared you might sleep, and then someone takes your luggage. If both of us sleep, someone will take our luggage, or maybe. Or they put the flat and yeah, you miss it. Because the flight was coming anytime. So, if you yeah. sleep too much. <laughs> the flight was coming you were just sitting in the like flight to madrid now you have to run so if you sleep both of you you just lose you, you lose yeah huh? you lose you lose you lose <laughs> yeah. so in turkey actually we stay there for two days the two following days. day they told us look guys the flight from madrid is not gonna be today but maybe it's not gonna be even in, uh, in three days or so like it's still full of snow mm -hmm. we are removing the other terminals before the one we have to actually arrive yeah so i mean up to you maybe you can go somewhere else so we had to fly that is somewhere else but has to be in Spain. Yeah. We got a, a flight to Malaga, that is yeah. a city in the south of Spain. We went for vacation this uh, summer, actually, last summer. So now we are all excited. Wait, so wait. now, so no. now, so now. No. So no. now we are all excited. The flight is finally here. We are coming from uh, Turkey to to Malaga. We're going to the, to the gate. To the gate, no? yeah. yeah. Everybody's <laughs> just showing the, pa the passport. They check the visa and you go into the flight. Visa, you go in the flight. The moment I get to the queue, the ladies start, they start talking and I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? What happened? <laughs> We're checking your passport. Yeah, they're checking the, they were checking my passport and I'm like, okay, what next? What next? You know, like seriously, what is going to happen now? Do you know the worst thing in life? 
people is being in the airport they take your passport they look at it for some time and they tell you stay on the side and they tell start checking me. other people and they check other people and you you're standing there can you oh. what will start coming to your mind i'm just like did someone throw drugs in my luggage did someone at that point you know, imagine we didn't we didn't sleep well for the last two yeah. days we've been away from our home for like Do six I have a days bomb? already it, it was incredible and the issue was that they wondering why we don't have a turkish visa mm -hmm. because supposedly they thought we left the the, the airport, airport since our flight was uh, two days before so they, in, for them they were thinking that we are in uh, turkey illegally especially me of course <laughs> i'm sorry to say but because i'm black <laughs> so uh yeah they're saying like uh we can see your flight from Cairo to Turkey arrived uh, two days ago. How comes you do not have the Turkish uh, pass and stamp? And they, they will not let you us don't pass. Have the, the Turkish visa. No matter how hard we explain, oh they will not gosh. let us pass until we. we, we are okay. Let me talk to the manager. Man. I'm, I'm tired of talking to managers that moment already. Yeah, so we had to start explaining and we tell them like to go back and check with the <laughs> flight that we came we used, with. We just told him, I mean, brilliant, genius mind, very <laughs> smart person. If I'm here, if I went to Turkey, I left the airport, where the fuck is my stamp? Where is my stamp in my passport? Like, like I was just like, man, think, Maybe we are think. doing illegal stuff. <laughs> maybe they thought we are doing illegal stuff. And from that moment, I just started being stressed, actually. I was just like, okay, now, now it has started from here. I was not no, safe, I, I did not feel safe until the flight left. Like, they let us inside the last <laughs> ones. The last ones to get in the flight was us, just before we, we, we left. Yeah. And until the, the, the flight took off, I was not safe. So, finally, we are in a plane that is going to Spain. Finally. And when we saw, like, the flight is going... We, yeah, we were, like, really like, like, yeah, oof. finally, you know. David this... was like, oof, now I can sleep, you know. Yeah. I'm really... relieved. So, yeah. the flight is leaving Turkey. We arrived in Malaga, very nice. The <laughs> process in the passport control was very smooth. We passed, everything is good. Of course, after you finish the passport control, you're supposed to go and take your luggage. The first luggage comes, David's luggage. Perfection. Perfect. I'm still waiting for the others. She has three suitcases. I had three suitcases, by the way. My personal suitcase were three because, yeah, of course, I'm moving here completely. So I had a lot of clothes and David only had one suitcase. Mm -hmm. I wait for 10 minutes. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, I cannot see my suitcase, not even one. All of them. That moment, I hid all my papers in the suitcase, my certificates, my important documentation, everything was in the suitcase. My suitcase are nowhere to be found. Guys, I was traumatized. I was shocked. I started, I, I couldn't even cry because I'm so shocked. I, I yeah. didn't cry and then we are going to check. Uh, we were just tired, we tired of everything, of all the process in yeah. Egypt and in Turkey. And now you get to, to Malaga and the three suitcases are missing. All mine. And it's all there because if it's mine, at least I have things in Spain. But for her, she had nothing. And if it's David's suitcase, it's okay. Even it was only clothes that were in there. Yeah. Mine, I was just thinking about my clothes, my makeup, my papers. I'm just like, no, 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 no. So uh, I arrived in Spain. I have no suitcase. And we went to stay in a hotel. I have nothing, like nothing. Apart from the handbag that I had, I have nothing. I have no clothes. I have no makeup. I have no papers. Like the way I am with just my handbag and my wallet inside, that's it. And uh, yeah, we stayed in the hotel for one day. Then we took a train to Madrid. Once we arrived to Madrid, anyway, mama came, picked us up. Mm -hmm. We were so happy. We celebrated as a family. I didn't want anything to come in between mm -hmm. my happiness of arriving here with this, mm -hmm. the suitcase. But at the back of my mind, I'm just still thinking about the suitcase anyway. But you know, um, the suitcases actually took one week or something. One week, yeah. One week to arrive. When they finally arrived, <laughs> <laughs> my suitcase was uh, like it was uh, broken. It was completely broken. fucked up. It was torn. This was, torn, was torn. The yeah. zip was fucked. The, yeah. the, the suitcase had a, had a holes. Yeah. We were checking on time if there was something missing. It was really know? messed up. We raised a complaint regarding that suitcase, how it was damaged. I didn't know about that, that you can be paid if your suitcase are delayed. By the way, if you didn't know, if your suitcase are delayed or if it is um, ruined during your journey, you can be paid. Because I had emotional damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> I was damaged emotionally, mentally. Because, yeah, they really... Yeah, maybe I know. My mind was... I know, God. You know, my mind was, was damaged. It, it took a process. It took a long time. But, yeah, finally we're being paid. If you'd like us to tell you guys if maybe your 
flight your suitcase has ever been delayed it has ever been ruined when you're in an airline you can sue them you did it took us one year to get paid though like this yeah. was one year for me like it doesn't matter as long as they're going to pay you at the end guys you need to apply so if you'd like us to do that specific video you can let us know and we can do it put it in the comment section below and we can help you out Exactly. So now that we just get paid, I think that's the end of the story, no? Exactly. Like finally, yes. one year after. Finally, we, we finished the story. Chapter. Yeah, we closed this chapter the last some week, I think. Mm -hmm. Last week, actually, when they informed us, yes, we won the case and we're going to be paid. Now we are closing the chapter. <laughs> finally, after one year. <laughs> so, guys, that's the story of the most uh, unbelievable, crazy, stressful, long journey we've ever been in. Yes. So that's it for it for this video, guys. If you like this this video, remember to like, comment, and share, and subscribe as well. You can mm -hmm. always put comments to you know to interact with us. We love it. We love it. We love it. So until next time. Bye. Bye. Adios. Adios. Kaheri. Kaheri. See you guys.